Hello Autobots and Decepticons, my name is Soulmonger and today I'm bringing you some Transformers War for Cybertron action, booyah! And I'm gonna start this game out pretty good, I want one single Decepticon kill please, just one, just one, how about doubles, yeah! <laughs> I didn't order doubles but I received, and thank you for the triples kind sir, very very nice of you Mr. Silverbolt. And I am playing the scientist class like always, and I'm playing on the map gorge like a lot of the times you guys have seen me play. And as a scientist, a great map, a lot of different routes you can take, and I really appreciate these maps with all these different angles and different hiding spots you can approach your enemy with, especially in the power struggle game type, which takes a lot of strategy, a lot of teamwork. To succeed with victory and there you see me starting out with a five kill streak now that's Grandmaster splash material and if you don't know what that is froggy G let's hear from you baby your mom is so fat and I'm not too far away from the lily pad, but I'm about to get taken down, but I know where my objectives lie, and I know it's important to get my roll on when I got the one bar of Energon. And like I was saying before, you definitely want to play yourself smart with the scientists. You want to pick up ammo, want to have that full health before you approach a battle, and you definitely want to know where you are fighting from. Notice my placement in this map. I will usually fight behind a barrier of some sort or position myself so that I have a good angle on the enemy so that they cannot shoot me and I can always hit them. And on the other team, there's always a pesky scout with a sniper and you will notice that in this game there is one of those and please take note on how I play that. I'm not saying I'm the Albert Einstein and super smart and E equals MC squared or Energon equals multi-kill. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying pay attention to the angles. They will get you more kills and help your team to victory and all that matters is the win so definitely play smart as a scientist you're a scientist for goodness sake don't make the academy of all the people with beakers and liquids and masses and glasses and white mustaches get mad and beat your wait maybe maybe they're not that mean they're a scientist for goodness sake and here you see me fighting around the pole Noticing that the node is contested, but I can shoot in here, help my teammates out from the back, and evade the whirlwind, and then send them to oblivion afterwards. And I have something in my front pocket, and that guy's got a frag launcher in his front pocket, so that takes me out pretty quickly. But I will get the last laugh with one missile, one kill, yes, no, but with my big gun, and that's two shots already, no kills, three shots, no kills, four shots, a pull will die, and five shots, hit marker, Ugh. face, two hands, slap, and <laughs> I feel like that dog from Duck Hunt is going to pop up any second and just start laughing at me, and you know what, I deserve it because... I am down to two measly bullets in my cannon with one kill and one assist to show from it. So epic failure and dog, please laugh away. Yeah, I deserve it. But we are down quite a bit here. I know the urgency of getting in this node, contesting it as much as possible because they are getting there a lot quicker than we are. And so I gotta put on my Sonic shoes and my high flyer attitude and really contest this stuff as much as I can because I know if we let the Decepticons out to such a big lead they will take us down in this game type. Notice this angle here I take on the leader. Make sure that you cover up your spark so he cannot shoot at it and kill you quickly. The leaders will take you out fast and I say that we are playing a good team and we had good games all night in this match. I am playing with a bunch of very good people and competitive as it can get. A lot of these games came right down to the wire and there you see me get out of there with my life, find a cube and notice Slipstream, she chases a lot. Why Slipstream, why? And as a Decepticon I expect nothing less. But in this game type you cannot get hung up on revenge. You have to keep focus. You gotta be able to play as a team and focus on the good of the team and don't get hung up on silly revenge kills. 
You are a scientist for goodness sake. Know your role, help your entire team out, and you will be victorious. <laughs> this is Cybertron. And this is a little suicide bomber, a tactic I like to use sometimes every once in a while. And Shockwave, open that Energon grenade for me, won't you? I feel like just a wee lad. I'm like, here mom, here dad, can you open this jar of jelly for me? Oh, thanks. And that's what Shockwave is to me, a parental figure with one eyeball. It's like, man, can't you just change your face? Seriously, it must be hard to see out of just one eye. But if that's how he rolls, that's how he rolls. And I always feel like Megatron is Jack Nicholas or the Joker from the original Batman and Shockwave is Bob and Megatron's just sitting there rubbing Bob's shoulder and he's like, remember, you are my number one guy. <laughs> and then Bob just walks away like a boss. <laughs> And if you haven't seen the original Batman, I definitely recommend it. That movie is awesome. And so, I'm sitting up here getting a bird's eye view. And I'm only doing this because I know that the objective is going to switch any second now. And I should definitely pick up these two kills and get a overshield matrix for my team. But there I am, out of ammo. I never pack enough. Here I should be just throwing these big ammo bullet straps over my shoulders like Rambo style, but instead I'm always on the hunt for ammo. But that's okay, I know where it is, I'm a scientist, I gotta use my noggin, I gotta pay attention to where that ammo and that health is, but who needs ammo when you have the power of the Energon lightsaber? <laughs> and say goodbye Mr. Onslaught, I hope you have a nice fall. <laughs> so that is a seven kill streak. Another big cannon coming my way and that pesky scout headed up to here with you, Mr. Mega Wave. But that's okay. I have another big gun and I'm hoping this time the laughing dog from Duck Hunt does not make an appearance, but you never know when he's gonna show up. He seems to smell out failure and just laugh at it. <laughs> and uh, if I had my chance, I would definitely point that gun in his direction. No, I'm kidding. Don't get mad at me. I hope there's no PETA members watching. I love dogs. I was a dog owner for 10 years of my wee lad life. And I miss my dog. I loved her. She's a great pooch. But that dog from Duck Hunt, oh man, he just laughs and laughs at you. He is truly a Decepticon dog. And so here... On top again, let's bring out this gun. One shot, nothing. Two shots, nothing. Uh oh. Three shots, nothing again. Is this guy invincible or am I shooting duds? I don't know, but uh, it's time. Here he is, laughing at me again. Uh, I tried, I tried, and I brought home no duck to wrap in bacon on the grill for my fellow Autobot family to eat on this evening. We will go hungry and we will have to hunt for more Energon tomorrow. I apologize, my dear family. And here, I just think I had to have that pesky scout touch the gun for one second, cause there, there we go, voila, we got ourselves the kill. It's a miracle, it's a miracle. But even though we had a miracle, I got more important things to worry about at this time. My team is still down and we are on the verge of losing this battle. I do not want to lose to any Decepticon at all. And there I'm flying into walls like always. Silverbolt has kind of those bigger wings so he's harder to spin around with if you're concerned about running into walls. I definitely recommend Starscream. He has the shortest wings and he is by far the easiest to maneuver around. But I myself like other personalities and I like to mix it up. You'll see me play Silverbolt, Air Raid, Jetfire, Slipstream, Starscream, Shockwave, the limo, and the number one guy. And I love them all. It's all in good fun. And this part is a very good example on what you should really be playing as a scientist. Here I will sit back here. I have this barrier of this 
little pyramid in front of me and I know there's a scout over on that left side and he is just begging me to poke my head out so he can use his null ray. So I will do everything in my power to not expose my optics for him to split a null ray shot right in between them because I do not want to give that up because I am the backbone of my team here being able to heal them from behind and also give them a five kill streak with the overshield matrix. And if we are able to hold them off for this whole time, we will definitely be able to put ourselves in front on this battle and every point will count since every other game before this has went down right to the wire. So I am just souped up right now as Silverbolt. I got my overpowered war cry and I got my overshield. Not much of it, but that's okay because I was able to also get another big gun and I got taken out but I know that I will be able to help my team instantly when I come back in with this Nucleon Shock Cannon. And here I got a fortunate spawn, and I'm not gonna push out any farther than this because I understand that the spawns will spawn my teammates behind me if I hold this back position because it is most likely that they will spawn in your team next to a teammate in a spawn area, which is where I am, and that way I will spawn my teammates in close to the node when or if they die. And right now, I feel like it's another miracle because my gun is working and I'm getting some kills, helping my teammates out, not with the objective currently, but killing everyone in it so that we can accumulate points. And I remember thinking that this part, maybe it wasn't such a great idea because now I trap my team back here and we are far away from this hill and it is going to move. So we are going to lose this lead just as quick as we got it because those dirty Decepticons sure are persistent. And right here, this is a mistake by me. Do not do this. Do not go out of your way to kill somebody that is this far away from that node Go contest the node. Go use your abilities over there to fight for the common goal. And I'm actually pretty happy that Onslaught drove away there like a typical Decepticon retreating with his tail between his legs. And now if we could only just get that dog to do the same thing. Uh, he really just gets on my nerves. And I know how important this kill on Shockwave is because that's another big gun. And we have just the closest game ever right now and it is crunch time so I gotta heal up everybody with Energon as much as possible and get to this next objective very quick our timing was pretty bad there and they're already set up on top of turrets so I'm a little concerned here I'd be surprised if I won but I got some help somebody destroyed the turret and I took out that one-eyed monster finally get out of here Shockwave you are not the number one guy that is Silverbolt and I know across the way there is a sniper, I got clipped on the wing, so I gotta quickly grab some health, come back over here, and get as many points as possible, but I gotta use this cannon at this time, because this will be the end, I'm hoping, and I do feel another bullet come by and clip me again, and I'm just gonna hold this back down, and anybody that lands into this node to contest, I will just finish off with this big gun! Making Brock Sampson proud is my game! And Silver Bolt, you are victorious along with the rest of the Autobots. So I hope you guys enjoyed this gameplay. Remember to leave a comment, leave a rating, and subscribe for some more Transformers. Have a good day, everyone. Two minutes left. <laughs>